All right, you guys, welcome back to another episode. We're at mom's house. Today is a floor day. So let me flip you around, show you what we're dealing with. All right, so here's what we got. All of this floor in here got water damaged. There was a old washer and dryer over here and that washer was leaking for a while. So all this floor in this hallway area got totally damaged. You can see I kind of picked through some of it there. Uh, there was a guy came in and replaced a section. You can see that, but I can't figure out why he didn't replace this because yeah, I'm, I'm a big old fat guy, but when I walk on this, I doubt you can hear that, but that's totally squishy. Like all of this floor, even standing over here, like that's squishy. So I'm going to cut all this up. We're going to put a new piece of plywood in here, uh, replace some of this flooring. We're going to get as far up under that wall as we can, go over across here. Uh, as it turns out, the space is five foot by eight. So if I cut as close as I can to this wall, we're going to end up with like a 10 inch strip across here and then it'll bump out and bump back in. So what, first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out a four by eight. So you can see I kind of chalked off. Uh, my saw only gets to an inch and a half of the wall. So I chalked off here, inch and a half, straight line. I came over three feet using your magic three, four, five. You know, I squared up over here. So now I've got a square corner that's the four foot mark from where I can cut over here. So then I'll just go eight feet along the wall. We'll cut where we need to. I have a feeling I'm gonna end up notching out the plywood right in this corner. Uh, right there underneath of the wall, the plywood is stable even though it's stained. So I'm gonna cut into it, we'll pull this out and we'll see how bad that corner is. But then basically it's like right there at the middle of the door, all the way across. That'll be the eight foot mark. So we're gonna cut this out get the old floor ripped up and get a new piece of plywood put in here and then we'll deal with this corner over here we'll get that cleaned up probably use some of this plywood just cut it to fit so that it's nice a nice cut out and make sure all the corners are sealed and then we'll take some of those cutoffs we got this vent that vent the one under the drill and then in the storage room we've got one more vent that we're going to block off before we start laying down some floor. So that's where we're at. I think first things first, we'll get this measured out, marked out. Uh, and then since we got football in a little bit, I'll probably run to the store and get the plywood we need and come back. And then we'll start demoing out, get this ripped out so we can get floor down real quick. Cause that being the only bathroom, we got to make sure there's access. You know what time it is. Let's get to work. All right, so we got the edges cut with the circular saw. Uh, I did a little bit here with the sawzall just to make sure it would go easy, but now I'm gonna square up these corners with the sawzall here and here and there, and then we'll start ripping all this out. Uh, I got Striker Weight Gaming here to help out today. So we'll put you guys up so you can see what's going on. We'll get some of this floor ripped out.
Okay, party people. So um, we removed the floor right here, and we noticed that uh, the dude who put in the floor put these um, janky support beams right here. They're little cubes. And he just nailed him in straight through this floorboard right here. We might need him later, but removed all this floor. And um, this floor right here was specially designed like to fit the floor. And um, we don't want to like take a good chunk out of it because it can um, like it can ruin the floor and it'll cause sag and the floor will eventually break um so our idea for adding support was to um put like four beams in between or like beams in between these and we'd use adhesive to first stick them together and then we'd nail them in through this part right here um and we'd obviously have to put all the way through like three or two or three in between each one so like one one two and three and then right here we have a little saw thing right there um and we definitely have to support this place because this is where the washer is gonna go so we definitely have to support right here so we might we might just cut through here to here, across, and down, and then just put a panel right there, and so, yeah, and for the washer, um, this end over here, and that end right there, are two different sizes, so we have to get those me measurements, and then we have to get the measurements of all these. All right, we'll go take measurements. All right, so like Gregor was explaining, this section was not supported very well. So as you can see, I took two screws out of here, one out of there, one out of there. This thing fell out. So this is all rotted to there. Um, all of this is going to have to get air sealed anyway uh, so that we're not getting air and rodents and everything else in here. So I think what's going to be the easiest... I'm actually gonna go to this joist right here. I'm gonna split it down the middle, right there. We'll turn and we'll go this way. And we'll come right across here, like that. And then over to this wall. That way we can rebuild this all with a nice sheet of plywood, uh, some good quality material that way. And that'll give us a chance to put the blocking in underneath of here where the drill is at and support this all very well. So we'll probably go we'll back up a little bit. We'll probably put one right there at the back because that'll have to support the loose edge. We'll probably put one like for sure, right? We'll put two here in the walkway. I'll probably put one more right about where the front of the washing machine is going to be and support it right there. Um, and if that's more than a span of about 16 inches, we'll make sure that we put some in between because it's got to be adequately supported all the way across. So, you know, one, two, three, four, five, maybe six of them across there. On this other end, we'll probably do, you know, one, two, three, four of them maybe, and support that end. Um, so yeah, we got to get this marked and cut out, and then we'll start getting some new floor put in here.
All right, you guys, look at this. Bracing on this end. We got bracing on that end. And then you'll probably notice we had to put an extra one in here like this that bridged the gap uh, because all of that was gonna end up unsupported. So we had to get a little clever and do that. So I think we're there. We're gonna cut the piece of plywood notched out here at the door. So I gotta cut the, the big sheet to match that. And then we'll get her in. All right, you guys, battery's almost dead, so I hope this comes through. But, here we go. She's all in, at least the first piece. Still gotta put this one in and take care of that mess. And we still gotta fix the vents. But it's getting late. This took way longer than it should have. Obviously, you'll see it on the time lapse. But this floor is solid, even as fat as I am, it ain't going nowhere. So this transition is gonna need a little work. I'm gonna hit it with the sander, we'll smooth that out. And uh, we gotta seal up the cracks with some sealant so that it's uh, airtight, bug tight. We'll have to get some spray foam in and around those. That'll be no big deal. But I love it. All right, people, we're gonna call it there for tonight. Like I said, we did as much as we could. It's getting late, battery's basically dead. We'll get back after this again tomorrow. See you soon. Yeah.